Texting and emailing emojis, pretty straightforward, right? But sometimes something happens when your messages leave that safe, familiar bubble you live in. Unicode is the international programming language that translates emojis between platforms. And whether texting from a smartphone or emailing from a desktop, it's the overarching platform that dictates where it falls in the world of emojis. Platforms like Apple, Samsung, Microsoft, and Google's Android. Due to boring things like licensing concerns, each platform uses its own set of symbols to represent the Unicode counterparts. That is why this could show up looking like this, or this, or uh, this. I know. To save you from horrible, awful misunderstandings, or worse, general awkwardness, we combed through the emoji sets for the four most popular platforms and identified the biggest discrepancies. First up, the girls with rabbit ears, which in non-Apple devices appears to take the form of a Playboy bunny. Ah, the cookie, a symbol of sweet indulgence. Unless you have a Samsung phone, then you're stuck with crackers. Feel like sending a friend a pistol? The Microsoft Lumia offers this random piece of Jetson awfulness. This neutral face, a fan favorite. Unless you're on a Nexus, then it's, I don't know, actually, amusement? And FYI, this person with blonde hair is gender fluid, and occasionally more of a carrot top. The emoji man loses his glorious mustache in translation. This is the information desk person, or as I call her, the whatever girl. Google, what are you trying to do to me? The ghost, fairly consistent, but could vary in intention. While two are goofy, the others are more ghoulish. One of the weirdest translations we came across? A look of surprise on a youngish boy is a much different message to send than sad ogre, or whatever Android's entry is. And then there is hands raised in celebration. Apparently Microsoft really likes ogres. Here's how bad it can get. Even simple things like black square button cannot be trusted. And as a side note, be warned. If the platform you're sending to doesn't have a corresponding character, you'll get a little box of emptiness. To make things more confusing, sometimes the emoji will appear on one platform in the style of another, only to magically switch. Rest assured, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Projects such as Emoji One, an open source emoji set that anyone is free to use without fear of an emoji-based lawsuit, hint that one day we may be able to freely express ourselves pictorially without fear of a misunderstanding. But until then, make sure you're writing to your audience and their platform.